hello and welcome back uh, we'll start with uh, today's topic and uh, what we want to review today is how do we perform n step receiving as the name says n step receiving will involve uh, more than two uh, or three steps that are required so earlier we have seen you have single step receiving through the receipt routing direct then you have two step receiving that is through standard receipt routing then you have three step receiving that's through inspection receipt routing now if you have to do more than three step receiving three steps receiving like four and five then how can we do that that's what we are going to set up in the system and a step receiving is uh, is supported for uh, standard receipts or inspection receipts based on that you, you can select and accordingly you can configure the system the the setup that are involved are uh, operation plan setup we have to define the operations plan and then you have to assign those operation plan in the rule and, uh, and and then we can create a purchase order with a standard receipt and try to perform those three or four steps that are there so I'm gonna do a standard receipt which is typically if you don't follow operation plan route then you have two step but with the help of operation plan we're gonna go three step receiving so first one will be received in the warehouse location this will be another receiving location and from there it goes to the final area which is let's say the permanent storage which is bulk so we go ahead and replicate this scenario in the system okay so the first step is uh, setting up the operation plan so we have to go to the warehouse manager switch responsibility go to warehouse manager here we will set the rule uh, operation plan first so let's go ahead uh, warehouse configuration and operation plan it's somewhere here you can open up go to your organization I'm going everything in BW1 I'll go here I have already created an operation plan so I'll inquire that so if I create a three step operation plan okay this is the one that I have created earlier this is enabled this is user defined so you see the first uh, step is load and drop and there's the second step again 30 and 40 second step and first step will be performed when you do the first time PO receipt creation so that way it becomes three step process I'm gonna put this uh, first load and drop drop will be done in RCV location and the final drop will be done as per the put away rules I've already written one put away rule that is uh, putting the material into the bulk so that rule will fire and accordingly we can get the entire purchase order receiving done so this is step number one if you see uh, the step number one operation plan is created next one is the rule creation so let's go ahead and do the rule creation so we go to WMS rule and then uh, we can create an operation plan rule okay so we got uh, operation plan rule open here I, I put the activity inbound I already said th this I'm setting for a standard plan type and this is the return value you have to select all these things from the list of value and then you enable them and put some weightage so right now I'm only one rule set up for operation plan if you have a specific type of material to go for three step rest of them should not go through the operation plan then you can apply a filter here on the op you can put an item type uh, and then put the item type name here or item category or any other object through which you conditionally you want to invoke the operation plan then this is a way to do it once this rule is enabled and done uh, you got to run the content program that's cool generate generate all rule you do this program run and wait for its completion if once it is completed you are good to go to the next step so step 2 is also completed now next one is the PO with a standard receipt so I have a PO already created in the system let's go to the purchasing system uh, open a purchase order I have a PO number 6042 I've created uh, line number 2 
with a standard receipt routing so I go to the line number two go to shipment I just go shipment of funded quantity receiving control with standard receipt so this is the setup that will allow me to go and invoke the operation plan so that's it for the so let's start the transaction so perform the three step put away now this I'm gonna do in in MSCA okay so let's start noting down the step A A is the receipt receipt uh, creation process now B would be your RCV drop and C would be your bulk drop so this is what uh, we'll try and do now uh, let me put them to differently okay so this is better okay let's start uh, the PO receiving process so we have to go to the telnet I'll try and open the telnet application here okay go to symbol one operations welcome and then we'll open up the application okay so we go to third point uh, warehouse mobile sub mobile ui press number three uh, this is inbound and uh, then receiving then purchase order and then we'll type in the or code bw1 make sure typing in caps lock po number is 6042 can scan line number is 2 press enter key lpn uh, you can generate lpn code that's all right you can scan l22 for example and you can escape how much is the quantity let's put uh, 11 quantity press the down arrow key done so we can now press the down arrow key, go to the done button. So LPN22 is created. This was the step one, receipt information creation and will match. Uh, this was the first step. Material is lying in the location now. Next one will drop in RCV location. Let's wait for this to get completed. okay so the transaction is completed and you can see the status has come as transaction completed we can also search this on hand quantity while going into into the into the material workbench so just to check so I'm into the material workbench I, I searched using item and LPN combination and make sure the receiving flag is on because that is where you will see uh, the receiving otherwise if you search only for on hand, the on hand is zero, so the search will get return a zero quantity. So let's go to the receiving uh, flag on and then hit the find button. And then you can view by the LPN, so it will automatically allow you to view the LPN. On hand, there is nothing there, and receiving you will see the LPN. If you click on the LPN, it will st uh, LPN is storing item. So 11 quantity is packed, it is in the receiving. so so we are good the packed quantity receiving is 11 so what we have done is correctly shown on the screen and let's go and do the second transaction which is the second step uh, receiving drop in order to do that we have to come out of the main screen okay now here we go to task number five and then manual task number two and then go to directed move number seven and move any lpn so I know LPN number is L uh, caps lock on 22 try to drop them it's dropping into RCV I can do an end to LPN if I want to consolidate multiple such uh, LPN 22 23 24 into a big LPN then I can do that very well and um, otherwise I can skip this for now I can do RCV RCV 1.1.1 drop full LPN 
that task step two is now completed so we are here a step two this one is completed now we go to the third step which is the last put away so we'll go to the screen again and do l22 again one more time to drop now this time it's going to bulk and uh, i can just uh, continue doing that and drop full lpm so this task is now completed so this uh, is the n step put away setup and the transaction hope uh, you have liked it and if you have any uh, feedback uh, just let me know thank you very much for uh, watching this video